Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. <laughs> Hey guys, Son of Beast here. This is the NBA Playoffs of Game 5. And this time, it's Minnesota Timberwolves going up against Memphis Grizzlies as they will be playing back here at the FedEx Forum for the fifth game of the season, postseason. So, it's time to bring the commentators in on the board to get right to work. So, let's get the game started. It's Memphis in the lead, 3-2 to three over one for Minnesota. Can Minnesota try to stop the pressure or will this be the Memphis win again? Well, let's find out if there's a chance here to get right into work. Let's enjoy ourselves for this game. Our staple. When you do that, you usually win. Guys? They do. Great philosophy and attitude. Thanks, GA. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. We've got Russell. He's out there with Patrick Beverly. Anthony Edwards out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four slot. And for Memphis, Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then there's John Morant. Then there's Dylan Brooks. And it's Bain in at the two. Right now we're waiting for the Warriors to see who wins in the Grizzlies or the Timberwolves to have another game. So, we're going to have to see what happens. This is game five. We start now. John Moran. Moran's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Grizzlies. And too long on the shot. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Morant outside. Back to Jackson. Adams dishes to Brooks. To the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. And the shot. Steven Adams! Everything around him, Brooks sees the man. Dylan Brooks. And hits him. Russell passes to Towns. And now, just over a minute play here in the first. Minnesota ball. They say it was last touched by Jackson. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Now here's Towns. Back to Beverly. Over Adams. 
This is Adam's calling card. Making his out of bounds. Grizzlies ball. The Grizzlies will take. Now here's Morant. Pass to Bain. And here is Adams. On the wing, Jackson. Pass to Brooks. Dylan Brooks! Jackson with the assist that time. Jared Jackson Jr. with the assist. Young Biggs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Minnesota ball. The Timberwolves will retain possession here. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. As well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. But now their defense is in overdrive. What a block here for Steven Adams. See some pressure to make them kill it. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And that one's good. Mm -hmm. Russell. D'Angelo Russell. For Memphis, they've got their first three shots to go in for to start off this game. Adams outside. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Brooks. Here's Jackson. That one goes Jerry in. Jackson Jr. execution of the game plan. Offensively, so far, they are hitting 80% from the field. Now, here is Russell. Shoots from 14. Up and in. Off the end of Russell. Two for three from the field. A, a quick-minded player. Russell can adapt to defenses and put the ball through the hoop. Morant against Russell. The pass to Bain. Brooks outside. Just four to shoot. And Steven Adams. Adams. Adams by Brooks. Adams has got a Dylan Brooks. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting just come out to this To the paint. It's Towns. It's over Morant. And he gets the whistle. Two Prison foul number 12. John Morant. His first first team foul. It's a nice intensity from Towns. Shooting two for Minnesota, number 32, Carl Anthony Towns. Let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. They've gotten a lot of high quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. First free throw is good. It's a three changes for Towns. This guy's already a standout back when he was a rookie of the year. He's never stopped working on his game. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Control. Anderson comes Double in zero. for Jackson. Clark. Conchar is checked in for Dylan Brooks. Brooks. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Bain. Oh, Melton. And so he makes both from the line. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now here's Morant. Anderson right side. Here's Melton. And the shot goes in. Neutral Melton. On the interior. Right. And all I've been doing is dealing with the assists. Marking in for us. And the top of the key, Towns. Score of the best. Oh, yeah, Towns. This is his first attempt. And this is what you like to see. Big Cat using that size to his advantage. And here's Morant. Pass it to Concha. Mark against Towns. Shoots from the line. Morant gets to Anderson. Shoots over Reed. And Anderson gets it to Oh, Anderson. Defending Anderson from mid-range. He has a number of go-to moves from that distance. Now here's Beasley. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. A 
So with the now by Anderson, here's Reed. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Jazz Reed. Outstanding floor awareness there. Russell's ability for three. to pick apart the defense and find the open man. Russell against Morant. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Kunja. Clark left side. It's Morant with the drop. Show Morant. Morant's got his second bucket of the game to go. Now you see him, now you don't. There's only a few players that are faster Ray than Clark with the assist. Russell from long range. And that does it for the first quarter. Grizzly. That's the end of the first quarter. And Grizzly, 16. Minnesota, 11. What a play out there. We got a, a lot of fans showing up. We got some, a lot of higher average here. Second quarter is coming up after this. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And taking a look at the Grizzlies' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. Timberwolves trail by five. They've got Anderson. Jones is out there with the end of the Then it's Brandon Clark. And it's Concha in the small forward position. That's the group for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. Kobe, defended by Anderson, a Kobe missing. And the Grizzlies leading by five. Anderson outside. Clark right side. That one off the back iron and out. This opportunity, it's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Foul on Grizzlies, number zero. At least they saved him. Oh, felt it. This first, second team foul. Shooting two for Minnesota, number five. Nicole Beasley. Is at the line already, making them both. Taking two shots. Pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts, right around 78%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Memphis making a change here. Williams is checked in. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Prince is checked in. Easily hits them both. And the Grizzlies leading by three. Pass to Concho. Russell against Jones. And the pass to Concho. Off target with his three. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Now here's McDaniel. Defended by Jones. Russell, no luck. And for Memphis, they're shooting it as well as you're going to see, 67%. Memphis moving it around. Williams passes to Jones. The Grizzlies with another miss. And Beasley has the ball here for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. And it's going to be out of the Grizzlies ball. So Memphis going with almost an entire substitution for the Grizzlies. Adams, he's checked in for Clark. Sharon Jackson comes in for Kyle Anderson. Brooks checked in for Williams. And it's Bain in for Conjo. Timberwolves also changing it up. Good. Edwards Jackson Jr. Checked in for uh, Bray. Edwards comes Dylan in for Williams. Brooks. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Russell. Here's Bain. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Brooks outside. Passes it to Bain. Pocket six. 
The Grizzlies with another miss. Timberwolves trail by three. Now with it. Here's Vanderbilt. Bends outside. Kicks it to McDaniels. Down low. And a beautiful feed there's to a monster Joe jam. Vanderbilt. Just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Here's Bain. Here's Jackson. And it's trying to Yay, Jackson Jr. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. Right there on that play, Jackson showed a nice touch and his ability to finish around the rim. The best two weapons. His shot misses. And it's a nice two minutes. And of course, now for the game. Two minutes. Brooks kicks to Jackson. Launches it. Shot clock reset for Memphis. Brooks outside. To the wing right side. To Bain. Over Edwards. Gets it to fall. Good break. And the Grizzlies lead by. Dylan Brooks with the six. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And Adams sends it back. Minnesota ball. For defense, Adams doing a great job of closing the space. Morales, he's checked in for Memphis. Minnesota also with the sub. Towns, he's checked in for Torian Prince. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Here's Beverly. And the layup. Roger Beverly. Beverly's got his first two points of the night. When he's not shooting threes, you'll find Patrick Beverly at the rim. Back to Morant. There's the triple. And there's Hoda with the rebound. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost tied down. And it's Memphis the other way. They come into this game after losing on Saturday. You know what? That's a game where the coach might just want to burn the video because there's no question they're a better team than what we saw. But they got crushed on that night. And obviously we know that's not how they usually play. But hey, they've got to perform better next time around. Adam. Steven. And it's been tried. He's one of those guys you don't have to call plays for. Steven Adams is happy to eat the leftovers. Beverly finds him. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Back to Edwards. Just find the shoot. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. In just one college year, Jared Jackson averaged three blocks a game. He has that potential at this level. John! And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. This NBA playoffs is just a, a fantastic to bring things back again. Now it's time for the recap in between the Grizzlies and the Wolves. Here are the commentators, I'll be commentating here. Right, guys, for the Grizzlies, for the Grizzlies. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. They're going to work on the pick. Doing a great job. The portion of the offense was generated inside. Really outperforming their opponent in that instant. I expect the defense to back it in a little more in the second half and try to force the guys to stay outside. Kenny, let's get your insight on the Timberwolves. They didn't shoot the ball very well, and that's because they didn't have any flow on offense. I'd expect the coach to make some adjustments to the line. They need to draw some plays to get a good offensive game. Thank you guys very much, and now we're back to Flat FedEx Forum to start the third quarter. I'll be seeing you guys next time here at the post game. Guys, back to you. If you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. You have to like what you're seeing from John Morant. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him, really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. 
and happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Minnesota. They trail by seven. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, we've got Anthony Edwards. Patrick Beverly out there with Russell. Then there's Towns. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four spot. Edwards can't hit. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. To the middle, here's Adam Seaver! Continues to grow. This is just heady, sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. Defense! Defense! Here's Beverly. Grizzly's making the shot. Driving in. That one drops for him. I love this about Patrick Beverly. Patrick He's Beverly. just a fighter. He's never going to back down. Pass to Bain. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Left side, Jackson. Back to Brooks. He kicks to Morant. Puts one up, and it's good. John Morant. Brooks. Brooks has got four assists now tonight. Dylan Brooks with the assist. Equalizer. He doesn't have to get to the rim to do damage. Now, here is Russell. It's stolen by Adams. Brooks the best to be. Back to Brooks. Jackson up top to the paint. I shot by Brooks. Oh, four. Jared Jackson, Junior, D6. Time out, Minnesota. Just looking to tighten up their defense and the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make that effort. The NBA playoffs on Tuesday Sports is brought to you part by Mountain Dew. The official drink partner here of the NBA. Adidas, nothing is impossible. And by State Farm. Talk to your agent today and you're 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's a great average out there because the Grizzlies are off and they are in the books to try to slap their run. And they wanted to win things off to head to the second round. Well, there might be some chance out there. The Grizzlies are going to be moving up to take on against the Warriors. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Kyle Anderson comes in for Jackson. Williams, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Bain. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Torian Prince comes in for Vanderbilt. Akogi's checked in for Edwards. And it's Malik Beasley in for Patrick Beverly. Here's Melton. Traps in the trade. Three! For the Grizzlies. And, and ever since halftime, they play precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question. They've settled in and executed brilliantly. Just reach the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. And then is the pass to Melton. Clark with it. Morant outside. Four on the shot. It's good. Go! Just continue to grow there. That's it's good. Minnesota foul, number 12, Tyree Fritz. That's his first personal to the free throw line. First team foul. And the two minutes are going to change here. Mm -hmm. McDaniels checked in. Out of the line, shooting two for your Grizzlies. Number 12, Shaw Boy. What's up? Shooting one, I should have said. That was my mistake. That's 
that's good from Morant. How can you not love a player like John ja Morant? Came into the NBA ready to prove himself and just keeps getting better. Now, here is Russell. Pass to Reed. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Now, here's Beasley. Outside Russell. Back to Beasley. Hands it from downtown. Look on Beasley. Beasley's got three. five points so far. He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. And Anderson kicks to Williams. Morant outside. Pass to Melton. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Inside, here's Anderson. And he oh, Anderson! He's hit by 14. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. To a Kogi. Wants to get it to Reed and does. And again, it's been oh, it's Reed. They it's might be behind, but you can't blame him. He has been spectacular so far. Grizzlies have gone a spotless six of six from the field since taking the court here in the second half. Williams kicks to Morant. The pass to Williams for three. And again. So much job red with the assist. A clean look. Beasley, the pass to Reed. Here's a Kogi. Back to Reed. 17 foot shot on the way. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch. Well, they said it all. Conchars checked in for the Grizzlies. Now, Jones. Conchars is turning back his Grizzlies. Timberwolves also changing it up. Earl Anthony Towns checked in for Reed. Edwards comes in for Josh Akogi. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Russell. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Twenty-seven seconds left to play in the third. Beverly against Jones. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point range, Towns gets to Beverly. Edwards looking it over, passes it to McDaniel's. Knocked loose, drives to the hoop, and he finishes nicely on the way. Nick Daniels got his first basket of the night. Four interior teams. That's the end of the third quarter. Grizzlies, 41. Three and Minnesota, 28. It may be difficult to overcome. Grizzlies lead by 13. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Last quarter is coming up next. We'll be right back after this message of the NBA sponsors. How about a look at today's State Farm Assist of the Game? And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to fire. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then there's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Jones. And it's Bain in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup of the game for Memphis. Now here's Jackson. Low block shot on the way. And that one. Jay Jackson Jr. By 15. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. Town Girl, Anthony Town. Found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Pass to Brooks. Here's Bain. Here by Beasley. Here's Adams. Steven Adams. The play all around. This is where Adams feasts. Get him the ball in his spots, and he does the Defense! Rest. Defense! Here's Beverly, 
with the drive, come the best. Patrick Beverly. Memphis leading by 13. Pass to Bain. Back to Jones. Here's Bain over Beasley. And he wills that one in. Let's see, Bain. That guy. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no defense of a comeback in this. Defense. The reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Now here's Beverly. The pass to Towns. It's Beasley on the wing. Grizzlies with the rebound. And it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding. After that one. Bain passes to Adams. On the way, Jackson. Fourth quarter of play, we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. That shot, no good. Brooks against Edwards. Softly drops. Everly Edwards. Edwards had his first Diamond. points of the night. Great work by Edwards to get out of court in a hurry and get himself a bucket. Can't let those fast break opportunities get away. Timeout called the Grizzlies. You now know that the Grizz is already on the uh, court. Looks like the Bayer is already in the books. Well, there might be some, a lot of the fans out there ready for Grizzlies to take the second round. They're going to be playing up against the Golden State Warriors in a second round. They beat against the Denver Nuggets in game four. A great shout-out loss has already been incurred. Out of all the other teams, it was all that happened because of what they did. It's very hard. A uh, disappointment with the, all the effort they did. And that's what definitely happened. Sometimes you can get things out and they might need to go for another motion. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, D'Angelo Russell. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Minnesota. And keeping us updated for the sideline, let's, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to do. Robert for three! And making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Okay, David, thanks. And here's Russell. Here it is for many of four boards. Here it is. And it's Russell missing. Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. 16 point lead, the largest margin in the game. Morant against Beverly. Brooks outside. It's going to be a 24 7 shot clock violation. Minnesota ball. Timberwolves trail by 16, and this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. Roll really Anthony Towns. Look at both these teams, they're great rebounders, and on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage of yeah, the coach. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Stephen Adams. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor to terrific energy and enthusiasm, and that rubbed off on his team. Sure, Rick. Yeah, this one is Junior with his effort. Timeout, Minnesota. From them tonight, and I'm sure they'll try to replicate it next time out. And the Timberwolves call time. They're down by 16. There's a minute left to play in the final quarter. There's so much left here that gives them up here for the energy bonus here for Grizzlies. 
but for Minnesota Timberwolves, it looks like their season is already done to be living in its end. It's impossible for them to try to give them a win, but for all of themselves, well, this is it for them, and that's what they have finished up for, and they won't be able to pick it up from here. I gotta say, it was a fun game, but going down, there's only one last game for we'll coming up here for, for next week, uh, if there's a chance here after the Stanley Cup playoffs, then it might be the Sixers and Bulls. So there might be some changing here, if there's a chance. Prince kicks to Lehman. Prince the pass to Lehman. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Noel. Guarded by Morant. It's Very Noel. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something to maybe carry over into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Morant. points just made the plays, especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. So it's the Timberwolves now, following the score by Memphis. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Six the triple. Spacing and ball movement. We hear coaches talk about those two elements all the time. Well, this one is winding down now. Memphis can watch the clock run out, and Adams kicks to Jackson. Passes to Morant. That's it! Grizzlies win! 54 for This is so significant and magnified. This has got to feel really good. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jared. A young team, but you're going in the right direction. How does a game like tonight help you keep that flow? It's progress. You know, everything is progress. A win, you can learn something from. A loss, you can learn something from. So we're taking every little bit of it, and we're just happy to get one at home today. It's a step in the process, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Well, what a great game as the Grizzlies are heading their way down to the next round to face against the Golden State Warriors in the second round. So, a lot of patience out there, but the Minnesota season has come to an end as they will be back here for next season for the new beginning. The project has already been completed out there. Without the last season of the Grizzlies, who have been humbled out, it may be tough enough to find out for the Jazz that they already took them down in the first place. So it's now time for the new, of, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, free bound, three stars players of the game. Number three, we have it all here, as we took a look at the best performing highlights here. It turned out to be just all three of them. Jaron Jackson Jr., six points, three rebounds, six assists, and one block. Now this all turned out what he had here, but all turned him with better side angle. He's going for a quick transition that he has in there in between the truck. Number two we have is Steven Adams. He's like already a rustled up. That was 10 points, 4 rebounds, and just 2 blocks. Wow. I don't know what to say, but that was a great helpful man to take the steal out of them. They always know the grizzly is grizzled on you. Now for number 1. This all turns out to be the star. Yep, I call that one John ja Morant. 18 points, 1 rebounds, 2 assists. And he made one dunk. He's very in popular moderation, but he has done a lot that hard. Work enough, like he's on a fast pace. 
And I guess that should be it. Thank you all for watching. And the last game will be happening here in the first round for the Sixers and Bulls. If the Bulls win, well, there might be Game 7 ready to pay, take, be taken on for another late night drive. And sometimes it can be very difficult for them to give it a whirl. If they win, well, they're moving on to take on against Miami Heat. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone. For as a while as the NBA playoffs of the NBA 2K22 dial. This has been a presentation for this game of the Western Conference playoffs. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good night in the, in the bending city here with the Grizzlies. Until next time. Good night, folks.